Hi Pisces and welcome to my channel on a monthly basis. So let's get straight into a Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Or if you're dealing with a Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, this reading could be helpful in deciphering how this person is feeling about you. So how do they feel about you in the month of June? Okay, this card is coming out. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. Okay, there's someone out there, uh, Pisces, that doesn't feel good enough for you. Okay, wow. Full moon in Virgo. Their mind is going in overdrive right now. Uh, Virgo is a very analytical energy. If a full moon is in Virgo, it does um, mean something um, is coming to a culmination point, something that has been going on in the subconscious. Um, it does mean that these insecurities, okay, because Virgo energy can be a little bit insecure, okay, can be over analytical and possibly even over overwhelm itself, uh, overthinking things. Um, and, you know, it's, it's self-critiquing energy. So someone feels like they're not good enough for you, okay? They feel like you're out of their league, Pisces. They've put you on a bit of a pedestal here and they actually analyze everything you do and everything you say. They're coming in with heavy analytical energy here. So I think there's a lot of, um, they're wanting a lot more mental connection from you or with you, Pisces. Um, and what I'm seeing here is that they're just feeling this, especially the moon is is all about how we feel it's our emotions our um the phases of the moon and i feel like this is really symbolic that this person is um uh undergoing this this very mental um uh very mentally uh shaded um energy um they're trying to be honest with themselves okay they're trying to seek truthful answers. Um, I feel like there's a bit of mystery around this connection. So either you've been a little bit mysterious to them because I see them overthinking things. They're trying to find a balance. They're trying to declutter. But they're really meditating on you. Okay, they're, they're really, there's a really, fo there's a really strong focus here, but it's not in the most healthiest way because this person doesn't feel like they're good enough for you, okay? I wanted to use four more cards. I've got three, I'll pull out one more. Okay, let's start off with the left-hand side. You've got the Hermit, okay? The Virgo has come up twice. Uh, some of you have been disconnected to this person for a while, maybe, and it's absolutely driving them crazy. They're very much um, are hopeful that the two of you will reconcile once again. So this could be an ex-lover or this could be someone you've been away for for quite some time. Um, what's beautiful here, you've got the number six, which is this beautiful two children meeting together. So I am seeing that this person wants to go on a date with you, okay? Or they might ask you out on a date um, or they might ask you to reconnect. They'll want to see you face to face. They want to see you in person. Um, and they're hopeful that it'll be a very pleasant interaction between the two of you. So this is something that they're looking forward to. But there's definitely someone here that's um, feeling like they're on the outs, okay? Feeling like they're a little bit isolated. The hermit um, is very guarded, okay? This person could be feeling a little bit guarded about their emotions. Maybe they want to take things slow, okay? Um, maybe it's all innocent. Maybe they're carrying this Virgo energy because of something that has happened to them. Okay, throughout your relationship or maybe in a previous relationship that they were with. Uh, but I am seeing with the Hermit card, this person is currently very independent or guarding themselves. But they feel like they're, they're not connecting to you, okay, because the Hermit is too busy. And you know what, if you are dealing with an introvert here, this would make things a little bit more complicated for you. Because when we deal with this, uh, with an introverted energy here, um, and, and you sometimes can be an introvert Pisces, this can mean a bit of a disconnection here. Because if you're both very reserved, it's hard to express yourself. So I think that's a bit of a learning curve here. But look, there's someone here that's definitely hopeful that the two of you will connect in June. And you might just have a very pleasant time together. Um, if this is a long distance relationship because a fool is a traveler, some of you are meeting someone face to face. Okay. They've been nervous. They're nervous to talk to you, nervous to meet you, nervous to interact with you. Um, again, because they're not very confident. Okay. At least not right now, Pisces. So, um, maybe this could be a message for you to take a more sensitive approach. Uh, they might need to be pushed a little bit. Okay. Um, they're definitely, if you're sending those subtle signs, Pisces, they're not getting them. Let me tell you that right now. They're, 
they're they're analyzing it yeah absolutely but i don't think they're understanding okay so i feel like they might need a bit of a bit of more obvious signs that you're interested or that you want to connect um here as well what's really beautiful about the six of cups this could be a gemini okay the two children the twins could be a gemini or a virgo coming in and what's interesting is that gemini and virgo are both ruled by um mercury the, uh, the messenger of the gods, the planet of communication here. So some of the, there's someone around you that feels like they're not communicating with you as effectively as they'd like, or as much as they'd like, as frequently as they'd like. Um, there's someone here that might also feel like they've lost that spark. Okay, when we're in that new period of the relationship, it's very exciting. We get the butterflies in the stomach. You know, there's gift giving, there's reciprocity, there's a very sweet innocence. Um, some of them are feeling like they want that with you. Um, they're wanting to see that back in the relationship or they're wanting to see that from you. Um, but there's also someone here that's thinking about starting a family with you. Okay, there's children involved here. And this is all about creating a home, creating a life, building a life together. Maybe they've been a little bit fearful to tell you this. Maybe they feel insecure. Let's take that Virgo energy out of it, though. I feel like there is someone that sees you. Um, is very maternal if you're a female watching this or they see you as very paternal uh, if you're a male watching this so they're thinking about children there's something about creation they want to create something with you possibly even move in with you the houses in the back this is familiarity this is you know that quintessential hometown suburban life settled down living together creating a life okay getting a pet even as well there's a dog in the picture it could be things like that so I like it. Okay, I think you've got someone that's quite serious here um, or could be someone that is quite serious uh, with that Six of Cups. Could be Gemini um, or Virgo. Okay, what do you have under here? You've got the Ace of Swords. Uh, could possibly be an air sign here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming through with the Ace of Swords energy. Um, someone feels like they need to fight for you. Pisces or they need to fight for your attention or for your words or they need to win an argument with you for those that have been arguing with a loved one um, or if you've been undergoing any of that like a bit of miscommunication this person feels like it's always a fight or it's always a struggle okay um, and this is where they get a little bit insecure all right this is where this is where they, they analyze everything. So if you are arguing or there has been a miscommunication, I feel like this person is coming through and they're still thinking. They think about the fight or they think about the words. So it's all about mentality, words, communication. Um, especially sharp words, okay? The sword is sharp. It's handed here by, by um, a, a high power. We see God emerging from the clouds holding this sword. And what that really means is, is that your words affect them deeply, okay? Your words run deep, Pisces, and it's affecting this person. For some of you, it's not in the most healthiest way because this person is growing more insecure. Um, for others, it's someone that feels like they have to fight to get a word in, okay? They have to fight for your attention or they feel like it's not easy to talk to you. Maybe because you work together, maybe because you're quite busy, Pisces, you know, whatever the reasons here. I wanted to focus more on them, and I think in the time of June, they'll feel like it's a bit of a struggle either to get their point across, um, to open up about how they truly feel, um, or possibly this someone's feeling like they're struggling to, to verbalize themselves, okay? Because Virgo is very, very analytical, very much in their head, very much trapped by their thoughts sometimes. And the fact that it's come up twice here, I feel like they're thinking about a lot. You can see the face emerging from the moon and she's got her eyes closed because she's she's too busy. She's wrapped up in thought, okay? She's very busy thinking about something here that takes her away to another world, to another fantasy, to another scenario. And I do believe that's what's happening here with someone around you. And it could be an air sign here as well. But even if you're not dealing with one of the signs that have come up in the cards, um, you know, that f because the, the theme is the full moon in Virgo, it, it can mean that this person, it, there's a culmination point, okay? You'll either see these insecurities or you'll watch this person grow. And the reason I say growth is because you've got children here, which is all about observation and, um, you know, it's that empirical energy, empirical evidence, seeing things happen in front of us, think, seeing things unfold, and then we begin to believe and perceive and things like that. So I do believe that's what's happening here with that Ace of Swords um, as well. Okay, you also have the full card. This is an Aries, okay, coming through possibly for some of you or another sun sign, a Leo or Sagittarius. The full card is 
doesn't approach things as rationally as he'd like to, okay? Sometimes he can embarrass himself. Uh, there's someone out there who feels a little bit foolish, okay? I'm not sure if it's because of something they said, Pisces, something they did um, with Virgo energy, okay, as their theme. I feel like there is someone here that feels foolish or that feels unsettled. The, the fool isn't very settled. He's not very stable, okay? So it's someone that's feeling a little bit um, unstable with you in some regard. If this is due to geographical distance, you might notice that a long distance relationship might be a little bit wobbly. This person might express to you that they want to see you face to face to reconnect and, and lay their insecurities to rest. And they want to do this with you, which shows that they obviously want to fight, okay? That Ace of Swords, they want to fight for you, which is quite powerful, um, Pisces. That in itself is quite powerful. But the full card, look, there, there is possibly someone here that wants a new beginning, um, okay? The White Rose is all about surrendering its purity. Um, it's someone that's willing to jump into things, okay? There is someone here who feels like they might be jumping in too quickly with you. And then their insecurities come in and hold them back. Um, I think they've assessed this from many angles. But they've thought about this a lot. They've thought about you a lot. Okay, you've come up in their thoughts quite a lot. But for some reason, there could be someone out here who feels hurt. Okay, words run deep. I said that. And the Ace of Swords is paired with the Fool. Okay, the fight. Someone feels like they're fighting, fighting and not getting much in return. Okay, fighting. They feel like they're trying to do something. They want their crown. They want to be crowned. They want, in, and whatever that means to them, your attention, your love. Um, they want to be crowned with that. It's almost like they want to surrender or submit. So I'm not sure if you um, if it's you that's calling the shots here, because with these two cards, I feel like this person is just wants to submit, okay? They might be feeling quite submissive, okay? Or they feel like they need to surrender. The white flag. Are they wanting peace? Are they wanting truce? There could be someone here that's been overanalyzing a situation, um, and they're ready to come to a point. They're ready to step forward. They're ready to jump off the ledge here, possibly ready to take a leap of faith with you, um, Pisces in the upcoming month of June, ready to take that leap of faith, ready to press forward. The fool is the initiator. He sets out on a journey. Um, there is someone that wants to jump in with you, okay? Um, it could be the same person. It could be someone different, but these emotions are that they're wanting to jump in with you, but they feel like something is holding them back. There's a notion of a pull that's holding them back in the time of June. So I will leave it at that though, Pisces. I do hope this reading has been insightful. I do really appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Have a fantastic June. Don't forget to check out your other June readings on my channel. Otherwise, uh, take care and we'll be connecting soon. Thanks again.